at 11.14 this Friday night. I know when Matt Wentz goes to our producer and says, you know, I, I need more time tonight. <laughs> that is um, rarely a good thing. So you're getting set for the next yeah. few days, right? Yeah, this is big for yeah. us because this is the forecasting side of things, right? It becomes yeah. a news story after that. But yeah, there's a lot of forecasting, not just this weekend. I mean, we've got snow and you know all these holiday plans. Right. But next week's storm system, Russ, just continues to look just ominous at this point, okay. um, whether it be locally or in the mm. eastern half of the country. Um, mm. And I just want to mention the, the shipping story that we talked about. Yeah. If you're ordering gifts now and they're supposed to arrive the day before Christmas, mm -hmm. you know, two days before Christmas, this storm, whatever it does, is going to impact somewhere big in yeah. the eastern U.S. So you may not get those gifts in time. I may or may not know someone who did that today, <laughs> and, and they tell you on the sites the weather may cause a problem. Right, there. right. And they mm -hmm. just added that, right? Sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so a good idea is to go shop local if you really need a gift here at the last minute because uh, you may not get it in time. So let's take it to the maps now. Uh, as we always do on Friday night, we'd like to get you started. This is what you can expect tomorrow morning. Morning as you're sipping your coffee, enjoying what the weekend brings. We'll be in the 20s tomorrow morning. Still some leftover snow showers. Wind out of the southwest. That's not a cold wind, right? Uh, it's going to be on the colder side, but we're avoiding the real cold stuff up in Canada. We've had some bursts of snow. Remember last night I was talking about that. I was a little concerned about the burst of snow, and we had a pretty decent burst just move through. It's now out towards the east side in Geauga County right now, southern Lake County near Willoughby Hills, getting some snow. Chester over towards uh, the Middlefield area. Chardon, you're about to get some pretty decent snow. It's going to be quick, but this is putting down a coating. We've got accumulating snow on the ground. It's a white scene out back towards the west. This is also affecting areas near Auburn Township, Parkman. This gets down in the Newton Falls area as well. Bulk of it now out of areas of Stark County. Louisville saw a little bit of snow from this, but Atwater still seeing some snow eventually heading out towards the Warren and Youngstown area. And then we've got some flurries back towards the west. This is a lighter variety heading into North Olmstead areas of western Cuyahoga County near Strongsville. But overall, we're going to deal with this, not just tonight, but tomorrow and then on into Sunday as well, we're just going to have these periodic hits of some light to moderate snow. It's not going to do much, but again, if it happens at night, that's when we have the biggest chance of getting some slick travel out there. Lake effect snow machine now going in Michigan. This is what we're dealing with eastern half of the country. This is that storm that Russ was talking about still with us. This is kind of the withering low pressure, and you notice how the bulk of the energy to the north, but with that wind consistently out of the west and moisture, we're going to kick up some lake effect snow really kicks in tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening, goes all the way through Monday. As a result, National Weather Service put out a winter storm watch for Lakeshore Ashtabula County. This is along 90 and north. I wouldn't be surprised if Lake County got added to this. We'll see. And then out towards the Erie area. So if you do have travel plans east, a 90 out towards the PA line and in Ashtabula County may have some problems this weekend as well. National Design Mart Hour by our forecast. Just a smattering of snow showers. We're in the 20s tomorrow morning, not rising much. Low 30s tomorrow afternoon. Watch how the lake effect gets better organized as we get moisture and a more uh, consistent fetch across the lake. So by tomorrow night, may have some decent snow coming into the lakeshore areas of Lake and Ashtabula County. Scattered snow showers elsewhere for your Saturday evening plans. All indication is that lake effect began band not only becomes organized, but shifts a little bit further south with veering of the winds on Sunday. So Sunday morning, we may bring northern Geauga, eastern Cuyahoga into play with some decent lake effect snow. And look at that consistent band. We could get a couple inches from that. May have some rough travel over the weekend from that. Everything kind of dies out and then reorganizes Sunday night. We're not quite done with it. In terms of the modeling on this, again, a coating maybe an inch as you get away from the snow belt. This is where your heavier tolders are going to be. And look at areas of Lake County. Our model bringing this band south. So again, can't rule that out. Areas of Lake County, but a good three to six plus inches are possible up there by Sunday. Let's talk what happens next week. We laid the foundation. That's cold air. So all the precip from here on out looks to be snow. Albeit Thursday is a little different. I'll show you in a second. Cold up in Canada, but here's the real cold air out towards Siberia. This is now making a move. It'll eventually slide into Alaska, and then it comes screaming into the U.S. You can see it here as we show you the cold temperatures. Watch this later in this week. This is Wednesday into Thursday. Just comes screaming all the way down to the south. We are locked in on the cold. It's going to spin up a storm system. Atmosphere is fluid, much like pushing your hand through bath water. This is a big push. What happens when you push your hand through bath water? You get the little swirl on the northern side, and that's what we're expecting here. This is the Euro model run, okay? 
bring some rain in here with the warmth on the leading edge on Thursday, quickly turns that over to a heavy snow with probably a 50 degree temperature drop. And then we get nasty around here Thursday, Friday, Saturday. All right. That's the euro. We're just looking at models now. We're not saying this is the forecast. These are the outcomes. The GFS this is the latest American model brings this low further south. That keeps us away from the rain, but has heavy snow in here with lake effect after that. Some of the totals being spit out by the model are pretty high. It just depends on what you're looking at. But again, we have the chance for some heavy snow around here heading into the holidays. And in terms of forecasting, we just look at trends now. We don't talk timing. We don't talk amounts. Again, these models are going to fluctuate. One thing's for sure, we're going to get cold, and a lot of people are going to be cold. You need home mortgage 10-day forecasts. There you go. As we go through time, our system, I have us with rain changing to snow and becoming heavy at times on Friday into Saturday. Something we'll be watching. Jason is going to be with you all weekend, as well as Peyton. We'll be keeping an eye on it. We'll be back after this.